Well, hey there, people. Well, I haven't been out of the house since uh, Sunday, uh, or what, Wednesday today. Um, I've been cleaning big time inside, painting and all that shit. So anyway, today I decided to clean my yard a little bit and some metal from inside the house. So we're gonna do a little scrap return. Well, it's not that much, but it's pretty much all I have left. Well, anyway, the Ford's battery was dead. I guess I should start it every day. And once again, Paperwork White Girl comes and saves the day. Yay, Paperwork White Girl! Yeah. Thank you so I much. I love you again. <laughs> Thank God you don't look hard, dude. Yeah, no doubt, eh? Unfortunately, I need to put some gas in. So whatever I make off this, minus 10 bucks. Lots of little shit today. I didn't bother with the extension cords or any little motors or anything. Getting rid of some good stuff. I don't care because I have to clean out my yard. All right, let's go get my 40 bucks. So I weighed in at 54.40. Uh, I'll probably weigh out at 50.48.60. 57.60. I tell you, the fur it almost stayed here today. The tailgate fell off and I couldn't get it to latch again. And I had to get the guy to get some bolt cutters. I was gonna cut the whole tailgate right off. But anyway, while he was getting the two other bolt cutters, I, I got it latched. Slippery hill or what? I got a sticker to mail out for uh, Mike Woodall. <laughs> well, I guess I'll be returning all this copper to, or Friday, even though the prices are real shit. Um, I can't do it today, it's too late. Tomorrow I'm getting together with my dad, spending some time with him. Besides that, the yard's pretty clean. Nana. Hey, Nana. It's been that long, eh? Hey? It's been that long. Yeah, it's been that long. Really? Hibernating, maybe. Hibernating. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, okay. You take care. You too. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I'm just tossing everything out, like good stuff, bad stuff. I don't care. Oh, it goes. The garbage man gave us a hard time last week. Like we're allowed to put out six bags because uh, we're rated at R2. Uh, which means we ha we can have an apartment, so we're allowed six bags. We'll see what happens tomorrow. There's six bags and some other junk, but screw them. I'm off to meet my dad for brunch. Um, it's going to be crazy emotional. Like he, he already knows I'm leaving and all that, but still it's going to be hard. Anyway, I was thinking uh, I'm going to ask him to come with us. Why not? He's always wanted to go out there, so I'm gonna ask him to come with us. He probably won't, but that would be really cool. Anyway, I'm not gonna bring you guys in for obvious reasons. I almost hit, <laughs> see that? The camera knows what's going on. It knows what's going on. I almost killed my garage. Or whoever rents my house's garage, I should say. Or buys it. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys after my brunch. In true Ontario style, uh, we're having brunch at Tim Hortons. All right, so brunch is over. Uh, it went pretty good. <laughs> not too much, uh, not too much crying, but uh, anyway, that's not the last of it. There, my whole family—they want to get together, obviously, before I leave. So that should be pretty cool. But anyway, um, yeah, I gotta go home and some painting. I'm painting my bathroom right now. Oh, 
what the hell, we're going by Paperweight Girls House. Uh, let's go have a beer with Paperweight. Ah, she's got somebody blowing her driveway for her. I really don't want to, but I have to. Like, I wanted to clean all this copper up, but uh, I'm just gonna cash it in as is. And I hear the copper prices are gone to shits. Anyway, uh, I'll get that loaded up and we'll bring it to the scrapyard. Well, there's all my copper. Um, I got some stainless steel that uh, my friend Shannon gave me, so I'll load that up and we'll go to the scrapyard. It wasn't that easy, man. Like, that shit was frozen in there. Just like the way dogs frozen in there. You okay, buddy? Okay, let's go get warmed up and we'll go to the scrapyard. Okay, buddy? I'll give you guys the old uh, walk around. All right, let's go uh, weigh this shit up and see what I get. Well, today I have to bypass the big scale. I gotta go into the little shack to weigh this out. Here the copper prices are crazy low. I don't have a horn. And I got a back end, so. For the fun of it, I'm gonna go on the scale and see what she says. Let's let's try to get a visual of what she says. Nothing? I don't know if she found that funny or not. I thought it was hilarious. 308 bucks. Could you imagine if that copper was cleaned? I would have doubled my money. Well, anyway, that 308 bucks is going towards uh, a new truck once I get to Edmonton. Mm, I had a, a YouTuber, uh, This Is Unreal. Anyway, he sent me 50 bucks to help me out, like, as if. This is unreal, like, that guy spoils the shit out of me, man. I don't know if you guys remember the package he sent me, like, incredible. Like, tail lights from my truck and everything. Anyway, uh, I'm not scrapping no more today. I gotta go home and finish painting. I did a coat of primer in my bathroom, and now I'm gonna put some color onto it. Um, Shelly's cousin's coming in to help me this weekend. And Paperweight Girl, she offered to help too. And my buddy Dan, Traxical Dan, he wants to come and help tonight. And Cody wants to come and help, so that's a good sign. It's like, like I'm so overwhelmed, like it's it's pathetic. Like paint every room in my house and just a cleaning, like, like 21 years of shit, you know what I'm saying? So I got another offer on the Ford, uh, 350 bucks. So I'm gonna keep the bids going till it's like the last day when I'm leaving. Like my goal would be like 500 would be good, but like, you know, whoever's buying it, they have to realize you're buying a piece of shit. Like I'm honest about it. It's, <laughs> yeah, good luck putting it on the road, but I'd like to keep the old Ferd going. Like for a farm truck, it'd be an awesome truck. Like the motors kick ass. Well, there's the wife's old work. She's got what, uh, 17 days left. And we're out of there. Big time. This guy, bartender at the Fruit Hotel. Like, I'm even gonna miss him. Like, <laughs> yeah, he was a good shit. Didn't kick me out that, that many times. A few times. I just wanted to say a big thank you to uh, Donald uh, Lanero. Uh, he sent me a $20 Tim Hortons gift card, and uh, that's what paid for my brunch with my dad yesterday. So, right on, Donald. Appreciate it. All right. Let's, I'm procrastinating. I don't want to go paint anymore. It's just driving me insane. I hate painting. Oh, well. got to do what you got to do. So does anyone out there want to buy my business? Like truck and all? Best offer. Like I'll even toss in my phone number. I'll have it transferred to whoever buys my business. So right on, right on. Well, hopefully this video wasn't too depressing. It was kind of a... Uh, depressing to edit but anyway uh thanks a lot for watching people you guys know i do appreciate it right anyway cheers 
and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. People are giving me shit about this lately, but it is what it is. So we'll talk to you guys later.